RIT may not be known as the most traditional residential campus, but we actually have a lot of traditions. Most of them are found below our buildings in our tunnels. Uh, as you walk along our hallways, you'll see murals that cover many different generations of our students who have lived on campus. A lot of the space in the tunnels is currently occupied by a mural, so along most of the tall route, but we have a lot of new area under Ellington Hall, Peterson Hall, and Res Hall D that is prime real estate. As one of our traditions here at RIT of doing murals, students love to come together, design it, produce the murals, but having a mural requires a process. Um, obviously these murals have been here for many, many years, and process is very important to our students and RHA. Yep, the Residence Halls Association, the student governance group of the Residence Halls uh, coordinates the mural process and any student or group or organization can apply with RHA to uh, request to paint a mural. This area of the tunnels uh, was coordinated by student government. Previously there was nothing here, it was all white space and our student government worked together with Residence Hall Association put together this large mural and every year adding onto it with their new group of students representing student government and what they work towards during the year. The murals have brought together many students building communities on a given year and it also connects the generations. You know, every student has walked by this and has a sense of the class that came before it particularly the class of 1981, but there's an even better story behind this one. Um, not only did it bring a group of people together to work on this, but it also resulted in an RIT marriage.